podcast, we are going to be discussing the different safety aspects involved in treating hot bituminous binders. When this bituminous binder is spilled, there are environmental factors at bay. We are also going to be discussing if this bituminous binder is spilled on a human being, what procedures to follow. After this video, we hope that you will understand how to treat the hot bituminous binder. Treatment procedure. Cover in exposed areas with the bitumen burn shield. Keep your patient calm and treat her for shock. Do not cover the burn area with a blanket. Do not apply any ointments or lotions on the burn area. Don't give your patient anything to drink unless it is advised by medical personnel. This is a bitumen burn card. It gives you the do and do nots when handling a bitumen burn. It gives you the treatment of how to treat an eye burn and a normal burn. This card must be attached on the victim's chest or shirt. During road construction, no serious consideration is made for the concentration of PAHs as it is at a minimum. Though, when the temperature is raised to 230 degrees Celsius, serious consideration must be made as this is very detrimental to human health. When cleaning bituminous tanks, special consideration must be made and respiratory Equipment must be worn because the concentration of PAHs are at a high and the concentration of oxygen is at a low. This clothing isn't enough when handling hot bitumen. You have to wear a respirator, a face mask, rubber gloves, an overall safety boot and you must also wear a leather apron. This is rubber latex glove. This is a typical leather apron which is a heavy insulator. This is a respirator that must be worn when dealing with hot bitumen. When bitumen or asphalt is placed, special consideration must be made so that it doesn't come into contact with the environment. If bitumen comes into contact with groundwater or rivers, it can be detrimental to human health as it is carcinogenic and that it's very toxic. If it comes into contact with fish stocks, it can be very damaging to their health as it is deconstructive to salt production. The main hazards involved with asphalt is PAHs and alkalic PAHs. They have been documented on being released on water pipes. So next time you drink, think. Bitumen enters the environment. You don't want these puppies to get damaged. When a person has good self hygiene, it helps reduce the exposure of skin to any bituminous materials. Part of any person's protective clothing should be barrier creams. These barrier creams help prevent the bitumen adhering to the skin and it also helps them to wash it off afterwards. That is why it is very important to have wash facilities on any site that they are working with bitumen. It is very important to note that barrier creams are not a suitable replacement for protective clothing. Preventative measures. Sweaty hands results in a loss of grip while dealing with controls or other equipment. This can be prevented by wearing special gloves which has cotton inserts which will absorb the moisture. I advise that all site personnel must undergo a safety course which will incorporate the safe handling of bitumen products as well as the treatment of bitumen burns. When bitumen's temperature increases, the quantity of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons are increased, also known as PAHs. These are detrimental to human health and are carcinogenic. As you can see in this picture, the white haze is the PAHs. To help with the safety on a site where bitumen is stored, it is very important to regularly check for tanks, pipes, fittings and connections. This will help prevent most accidents that can occur and also help keep the site more safe. It is very important to provide safety gear on site for visiting personnel as well as permanent people that work there. Proper signage must also be placed at the most appropriate places, warning and informing personnel 
and what dangers are about to encounter. When bitumen is heated, it releases fumes. These fumes are very flammable and can have a flash point of as low as 38 degrees centigrade. When these fumes catch a lot, this is what happens. We stated all the different aspects of handling bitumen safely, but there is more than one way of handling it safely, and if you don't, the ultimate can be seriously detrimental to human health and the environment. That is why bitumen safety is such an important aspect on everyday site construction. Thank you very much. Hey, <laughs> 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 man, adhering. Ah, it's exploding.